Back in 2016, I called the Lenovo Yoga Book the most interesting laptop I'd ever touched. And it just got a sequel. From IFA 2018 in Berlin, I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the new laptop of the future. As long as you don't need any physical keys. Lenovo's calling this thing the Yogabook C930, which brings it in line with the rest of the company's branding, but in my opinion, isn't quite flashy enough to do this product justice. After all, where else are you going to get a Windows 10 laptop that's only 10 millimeters thick and maxes out at 800 grams? One that pops itself open with a little knock-knock on its casing. There are a lot of minor changes to the new Yoga Book, and also two major ones, which I'll cover first. I said Windows a second ago, and that distinction is important. Whereas the 2016 model came in both Android and Windows models, the C930 is only offered with Microsoft's OS. This is no great loss, in my view. Android on tablets is, if not dead, then at least on life support. And from what I've heard, the old Android variant didn't sell well anyway. With full Windows 10, this thing seems like it would be a great platform for the new always-connected PC devices running on Snapdragon. But nope. Instead, this runs on either an Intel Core i5 or M3, with optional LTE in some markets. That apparently doesn't include the US, though. So American buyers will have to settle for Wi-Fi only for now. Lame. Lenovo says the battery should last up to 8.6 hours. Let's talk about the other big change, the keyboard. It's just as flat as last year's frosted glass, and you still get audio and haptic feedback when you type. But now, instead of a backlit, stenciled touchpad, the keys are e-ink. That means you can change the way the keyboard looks, or change the language. And, this is a neat trick, you can call up the trackpad only when you need it, and discard it when you don't. Once again, you have the option to use the keyboard as a memo pad, too. There's a built-in MyScript engine to convert your handwriting to text. And one thing there isn't, and this is kind of huge, is a keyboard backlight. Lenovo said it didn't have the room, given the tolerances here, and maybe it won't be a big deal for everyone. And maybe the light wash from the screen will be enough to keep the keyboard visible in a darkened plane. But if not, this is going to be a big deal for frequent travelers. I mean, there's also a reader mode here, so you can throw PDFs onto the e-ink panel. It would be great to use this thing as an e-reader, but again, not without a backlight. Thankfully, the other changes are welcome, from the bigger display with a higher resolution, to the addition of a fingerprint sensor, to the updated USB-C ports, two of them. And I'm eager to get this new yoga book back in the studio for some testing ahead of its official release, which is due in October for the starting price of a penny shy of 1,000 US dollars. Is that too much to pay for the kind of extreme portability this little guy promises? My early thoughts after a word from a sponsor that might just help you achieve some of your dreams. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes, from technology to design to business and beyond. Now, you've probably heard of programs like this, but Skillshare is more affordable than most. For less than 10 bucks a month, you get unlimited access to over 20,000 high-quality classes taught by experts. These are experts who are actually working in their fields. There is no better people to learn from if you're trying to figure out how to do the work you love. For me, the classes that caught my eye were the ones that helped me up my Instagram game, from choosing the right apps to mastering street photography techniques. I use Instagram every day, and I learned something new in the first five minutes. Build your own list of the classes that excite you. Visit Skillshare at the link in the description below and hurry. The first 500 people to sign up with this link will get two months absolutely free. Folks, I was entranced by the first yoga book because I love products that looked like they just walked off the set of a sci-fi movie. But I gotta tell you, the second I wrapped that review video, that yoga book went right back on the shelf. Part of the reason was I had the Android model, but if I'm honest, I just don't think I was willing to take the time necessary to retrain my fingers to accommodate a touch keyboard. Well, things have gotten weird since 2016. Uh, in 2018, I've retrained my thumbs to get used to a Blackberry again. So I might be more willing to go the long haul for the Yoga Book 2 or C930, especially given the switch to Windows. Seeing as how other laptop manufacturers are reintroducing the concept of dual-screen notebooks as well, 
Maybe it's just the early part of a new trend. Subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss my full review, presumably coming sometime in September or October, and follow me on Instagram at the same handle for all the smaller stuff that I'm seeing every hour here at IFA 2018 in Berlin. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends. Mm -hmm.